Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. They promote themselves as an all-American classic circus sideshow, combining them to timeless acts of shock and amazement with a punk rock presentation and a dirty South attitude. Tonight, the new Circle Circular visits with the folks behind Tinderbox. Step right up, step right up, and that is 10,000 steps. The circus is in town, well at least the sideshow is, right here at Cosmic Charlie's. Let's go check it out. What is the show? If I'm coming out, okay. what is it? So we, uh, we've modeled basically uh, a classic carnival style 10 in one sideshow. Okay. And modeled it to fit inside a music venue or fit inside a theater. So you're gonna see the classic you know, what you would have seen on the Midway 80, 90 years ago. Right. Uh, but the, a little the, bit modernized. Yeah. A little bit more consumable for contemporary right. audiences. We do a lot of touring and traveling now. That only started six years ago, seven years ago. I think it was like Ish. five. Was it? Yeah. Oh, wow. I think it was like five. 25 years ago. I've completely yes. lost track of time. <laughs> Where am I again? You look great. Oh, thanks. I discovered the world of Sideshow when I was uh, 18. I was an apprentice to become a professional body piercer, and my mentor gave me a book. Uh, and I read the book in like one day, and it was about uh, the Jim Rose Circus Sideshow from the 90s, played Lollapalooza and all that stuff. She happened to know how to do a, a stunt called the Human Blockhead. And she taught me uh, just one day while we were bored, and, and I, the hooks were in at that point. Literally? No, the, the actual, the literal hooks came a little later. Okay. The single O is kind of the sideshow that you see more, most prevalently, prevalently on the carnival circuit now. As you see, yeah. you know, come see the giant rat, come see right. the giant snake, come see the tiger show, um, and, and yeah. other things you call Rick Pitino. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was just uh, to keep, you know, keep focus. Oh, and there wow. it is. I still have my hand. You guys want to see a trick I know? I yeah. would love to. All right, yes. you want to hold that? Oh, yeah, you take that. So making my thumb disappear, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's pretty smooth, yeah, actually. See, if you, uh, if you give me a sword, I can make somebody else's thumb disappear. <laughs> I might have one around, actually. <laughs> so when you do sword swallowing, is it kind of like uh, eating hot wings, where like it's painful going down, but it's more painful coming out? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a pretty accurate um, yeah. description. It's, it's unpleasant both directions. If I do this right, you'll stand up on top of the board, you'll uh, take a bow, make your triumphant pose, however you wanna do that. If this goes wrong, you'll step up on the board, I'll get pressed into the nails, blood and guts everywhere, ruin your shoes. Okay. So here we go. Now it's right about here that I always wonder why I didn't go to the bathroom first. <laughs> And there he is. Holy cow. Your weight, my weight. A lot of weight. 468 nails. We're on the, the board of directors for what's called the Robin Marks Foundation, which is a organization for the professional furthering of the business of Sideshow. Okay. Uh, and we will be having our first conference ever right here in Lexington, Kentucky. And we will be having a Sideshow showcase right here at Cosmic Charlie's. Uh, with performers from all over the country showing off uh, what they've got. Hey, I made it out alive, and chances are you might too if you come see Tinderbox Circus Sideshow the next time they're in town.